Woo doggy! Howdy folks! <laughs> Different. <laughs> I guess you came to watch this video because you want to know how to make one of these a thumb drive, USB thumb drive, work with a Microsoft Surface Duo 1. Now, I use this thumb drive right here with my Surface Duo 2. I don't have to do anything. But I happen to be watching, but I happen to be reading this thread right here on Reddit. After reading that, I thought, well, I could make that work. I'm sure. Let's see what's required. Did a little research. Found an app and got everything to work and so i put a bit video together to let you see what you need to do to make it work i'm going to follow this up at the end with a little more information so give this video a watch this demonstration i'm going to be using a ugreen usb otg micro sd card reader so i'm inserting it into the Microsoft Surface Duo 1, and you see this message pop up. And this is asking me which application do I want to use to handle this USB card. And it sees that I have File Manager Plus installed. Click OK. You can see that I have USB storage. I'm going to select that storage, but you see down at the bottom, NTFS, EXFAT, HPFS, file system is not supported. Now, if I go up and look in the notifications, you'll see that it says there is an issue with the USB drive. Tap to fix. I'm going to tap it to fix it so you can see the message. Do not format. If you do, you're going to lose your uh, information. So I'm going to cancel here. I'm going to toss this out of the way. Before I remove the USB, I'm going to dismount it. So I'm going to press and hold here and choose eject. And I can now remove the USB memory. We're going to get this out of the way. We don't need it anymore. So how do we fix this? we got to go to the Google Play Store. And in the Google Play Store, you want to search for EXFAT. You can see I've already searched for it, so I'll just go ahead and select it. And it takes me directly to this application, EXFAT slash NTFS. So... Those are two file systems that it supports. You notice there was a message about HPFS. Uh, when File Manager Plus was trying to access, that's another Microsoft file system for your information developed for OS2. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this application. We're going to select it, install it. Here we go. Now, after it is installed, we can open it, but there's still another application that we're going to need to install. Now, I'm going to go through and agree to the privacy policy. I'm going to agree to the end user licensing agreement, and I don't need to be informed. Okay, and that's waiting for me to connect the USB device. But the next thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to need a, an application to work with the file system. I'm going to go back one. I'm going to go down here to Total Commander File Manager. And I'm going to install this. I went to their website, and this was one of the supported file managers that you can use. I'm not going to worry about opening it. I am going to insert. 
my USB. You're going to get this pop up. There's going to be some permissions that you need to allow to be able to access the uh, file system. But I'm going to tell it to use this. I'm going to tell it to mount. I'm going to tell it to start the trial. And you have no need to watch me sign in. After you log in, it's going to tell you that you have some permissions that you must grant. So we'll go to settings. We're going to tell it to allow access to manage all files. You don't do this. You're not going to be able to use the USB drive. Go Back. Now we're mounted, which means it's inserted and ready to be used. So I'm going to select the open button here and it opens total commander and now that usb drive is viewable i'm going to go to the folder that i have all these pictures and a few videos in and there it is just as a continuation of the tutorial i'll get this out of the way we can get that out of the way i'm going to go and unmount you should always unmount before you remove a USB memory drive and you see nothing happens. What I found you have to do is close the app and open it back up and then you can unmount it. Okay. So I was able to make it work without issue with this U green. This U green is a uh, OTG. Type C micro SD card, which of course means that it has removable memory. I'll put a link in the description for it. I did try one of my Samsung uh, thumb drives and I had issue with it, but I seem to remember maybe having to format that to a special file system to put it on uh, to use it for a firmware update for something, but uh, I'm, I'm going to have to do some more research to see. So don't expect this to work with everything, but it should work with most uh, thumb drives. So if you found this content useful, helpful, thumbs up. If you think other content here is worthy, give us a subscription. Comment, tell me what you think about this. If you've tried it, it doesn't work. If you've got other ideas on things that can be used, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear about it. Hey, and most of all, thanks for watching.